Hey y'all, welcome back and welcome to week four, day one. That means that we are on the last week of our first month, so we wanna make sure we finish strong today, right? We've got a full body workout for you guys. We have an awesome skill work drill that'll really challenge your single leg balance. And then we have a really fun warm up incorporating our basketball quite a bit today. Mm -hmm. So if you have a basketball, go ahead and grab it. If you don't, any other objects will work or you can just go through the movements, follow along with us with your imagination. So we're gonna start with, thank you, our basketball, moving around our head here. So we're warming up the shoulders a little bit, find some space, let's go feet underneath the hips, let's squeeze our belly nice and tight as we go through this, squeeze our glutes nice and tight. We're gonna go for 20 seconds each way, okay? So going around the right shoulder first in three, two, one. So we're just going around our head and as you do this, you can move fast or slow, but I want you to try to keep your eyes up so your neck stays long, so we don't start to look down at the ground. Again, we wanna keep this nice long neck. And since we are trying to warm up the shoulders, really reach behind your head, and then try to get that other hand to meet you in the middle. Good job. Let's switch directions. Go around the left shoulder. Again, keep squeezing your glutes, keep squeezing your belly. We wanna stabilize and get the whole body included here, even though we're working the upper body, moving the ball around our head. Maybe you even look right to left. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Change up that vision a little bit. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, y'all. Going around the belly next, okay? 20 seconds each way. Three, two, one. Here we go. Again, I'm squeezing my glutes, squeezing my belly. Maybe you want to challenge yourself by bringing one leg up. We are doing a lot of single leg balancing today, so you could always try to just bring one knee up and then really push through that bottom foot. Keep going for five, four, three, two, one. Switch directions. Again, maybe you start to look right to left. This becomes a lot more challenging as I have that single leg working here. Got a lot going on, working the body, working the mind. Woo, there we go. Coming up on our last five, four, three, two, <laughs> one. Awesome job, you guys. Next up, we're challenging some hip mobility. We're challenging single leg balance here. We are doing our tall walks. So high knee walks with the ball going underneath our legs. Let's start moving. We're gonna go forwards and backwards just one time. And if you don't have space like we do, you can just stay in place with a march. That works just as well. Once you get to your end range here, we're gonna stay tall, bringing the knees high, and again, just passing that ball underneath our legs, moving forwards and backwards. Next job. And we're gonna go low. So now we're gonna get our belly next to our thigh here. Chest is low. And now we have our low walk. So working the ankles a little bit more, working the knees, and then we'll go backwards. Nice job. Those legs are getting nice and warm. Awesome job. All right. Challenging one next. We're looking forward to this one. I'll put my ball down here. And we're gonna go with a little cross body toss. So if you don't have a partner, you can just do this by yourself, hold on to your ball. If you have a wall where you can bounce the ball off of, you can also toss the ball to the wall, okay? Will you demo one real quick, Christian? Mm -hmm. So it'll look like this. We've got a single leg sprinter's lunge. I'll show you the side. Yes, so his chest drops, but his spine stays long. The ball goes to the outside of the planted foot. The back leg is long. Now, if you need to set this toe on the ground, set it on the oh, ground, sorry. <laughs> for a little bit more stability, go for it. The challenge would be to keep the toe off the ground. Beautiful. So we're tapping the ground on the outside of the foot, and then when you come up, you'll toss, and then you're going to try to keep single leg stability here. As I go into mine, yes. All right. So find some space. Grab a partner, or again, just move with us here. We're gonna go five times on each leg, so we'll switch after five on the side. Outside leg first, we'll do? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, ready? All right, here's number one for me. I'm gonna go cross body, moving through this sprinter's lunge, tap the ground as I come up, toss, woo, and then try to get into that single leg balance. Good. So again, we're hinging, we're driving our hips back, proud chest, so keep that spine long. Keep that bend in your knee. Allow your knee to push forward here, y'all. Oh, yeah. This is three. Nice. Woo. And again, you can use that back foot on the floor mm -hmm. here. If 
you need a little assistance, still yep. working on loading up this front leg as much as you can. Good. This is four right here. Yeah, we're, I'm being a little strict, guys. I'm trying not to let my foot come down, but at any time, you guys can do that, just like Natalie said. Good. Last one on this side. Hopefully feeling this leg working a lot, feeling your glutes mm -hmm. turning on. I did some sprints yesterday, so I can feel my foot and my calf working big time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel my foot really engaged there as well. All right, other side. Again, we're not moving very fast on these. Mm -hmm. This one's about body control. We talk a lot about that. But on this one, moving slow and finding strength through all of these ranges is exactly what we want to be working on. A lot of balance, coordination here. Oh, this one's not oh. easy. You got there it. You go. Just like you said in other workouts too, guys, where I feel my body or start to shake or want to move fast, that's where me and Natalie will pause for a second, right? So when I get down here, oh, I might realize I'm getting a little wobbly here. I'm gonna pause for a second, make sure my body controls before I go through the rest of the range. Mm -hmm. Nice, Nat. And you might notice, like on me, my knee wants to kind of cave in a little bit sometimes. I've really got to work to pull that knee out. Keep that knee in line with my toe. That's always a big challenge for me. Go. No. Two more here? I think so. This is four. Woo! Leg is on fire. Again, have fun with this one. Challenge yourself, but know that if it's new, it's going to take some time getting used to, and that's perfectly okay. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. It's like we're in hot lava. We don't want to touch the lava. Exactly. Like all right, now we're going down to the ground, low plank. We're going to grab a ball. We each have a ball in this one. Oh, yeah. So just place your ball right out in front of you here. We're going into a low plank, and one arm at a time is just going to reach out and tap the ball. So mm -hmm. just place that ball a little bit out in front of you. We're going to go elbows right underneath the shoulders. You can go onto your knees or onto your toes. As we tuck our hips, we're going to squeeze our glutes, squeeze our belly. We're going for 30 seconds. Three, two, one. So we just got a little tap on top of the ball. So... We're lifting one arm up, meaning our body wants to shift and rotate this way. But rather than opening up chest all the way to the side, see how Christian is keeping his chest and his shoulders facing the floor, keeping your hips nice and square to the ground? That's exactly what we want to work for. If you need to walk your feet out wide, that's going to give you a little bit more of a strong base. Almost there. Three, two, one. Nicely done. Awesome. We're gonna turn it over here. We've got our sit-ups, and we're just taking the ball in between our legs. So again, kind of working the hips here as we work the core. Mm -hmm. We're coming on back. We're gonna go 30 seconds here in three, two, one. So again, we sit up, we pass one ball underneath the leg, and just alternate hands here. Find where you can inhale, find where you can exhale. Don't hold your breath. Remember, breath is key in helping us optimize our workout. I love the saying, exhale through the effort, but you can always just figure out what works best for you. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job, good work. Let's stand on up. Now, I'm gonna keep holding on to my ball, but you don't have to, okay? We're gonna go into some sumo squats, so the toes facing slightly out, Feet outside shoulder width. We're gonna open up the front side of our hips here. As we squat, so I'm just gonna take my ball out in front of me. You could also maybe drive your ball overhead. And as you can see, you can do this without the ball. Either one works. We're trying to pull the knees back and out, keeping them in line with our toes. Driving the hips forward, so really working the back side here to activate and squeeze. Awesome job, let's keep moving. Again, from the side, you can see my shoulders are staying over my hips as much as possible, not allowing my chest to fall forward. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Awesome. Our last one is gonna be our Frankenstein kicks. Going in three, two, one. Again, you can keep your chest straight ahead, or you can rotate your torso, rotate your eyes, as we finish out our last 30 seconds of the warm up here. 
How are you feeling, Christian? I feel great. Hips feel good. Core mm -hmm. feels like it's working, mm -hmm. which is good because today, right after this, our skill workout is going to really challenge our core and our stability. I love that. Almost there, you guys. Let's keep going for five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Feeling good. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. So here's what we're going to get into now. A little bit of our landings. Now, earlier in this first month, we worked on our landing. We worked on some double leg landing. Mm -hmm. And then at the very end, we even threw in a little bit of single leg landing, right? We called our almost our carpet landings. As if somebody pulled a carpet under your feet, and then you have to try to balance yourself and catch yourself in a low position. Now we're gonna do that today, starting on one single leg, and now we're gonna add some rotation, right? So just to kind of show you a couple reps, me and Natalie here will show you how our first round is gonna go. I'm gonna go off my right leg. Natalie can go off her left leg. It'll be the same exact thing. And just pay attention to our end position and also the fact that we're rotating towards the side mm -hmm. of the foot that's on the ground. So I'm gonna rotate to the right. Nat is gonna rotate to the left, okay? So I'm here on one foot. When we go ahead and say stick, we're gonna go ahead and rotate towards that direction. And again, we're gonna to try to hold that low position for as long as we can. Now guys, the challenge, right, and the fun in this comes that when, when we rotate, we might get a little bit of off balance and then fall over. Our goal is to try to hold that position, to stick it for as long as we can. It doesn't mean you failed if you fall off of balance, right? The more we do this, the better we're gonna get at it, mm -hmm. okay? So we're gonna go five times on each leg here, and I want everybody to go with my cadence. So when I say stick, that's your cue to rotate and land. Remember, chest down so that our hip could push back, mm -hmm. okay? Natalie's gonna go, I'm gonna cue, and then the second round, I'll jump in with you guys. Let's pick off that left leg first, and stick. Awesome, great job. You can see Natalie throwing the hands back. That's perfect, rep number two. Stick. Beautiful, now you can hear that foot going into the ground. That's exactly what we want. Flat foot, hard into the ground. Stick. Number three, that was perfect. And again, if you're on your toes right now, try to get more onto your midfoot and your heel, okay? Stick. Beautiful, that was rep number four. We're gonna go one more time on this leg, guys. Here we go. Hands up, stick. Beautiful, now Nat's gonna go on her right leg now. So now we look and shift to the right. Yep, exactly, ready? Mm -hmm. Stick. Beautiful, now I'm gonna try to throw your guys' timing off. Okay, wait for my cue. Stick. Nice, great job, awesome work. Yeah, we got three more times here, here we go. And stick. Beautiful, two more times, you're doing great now. Doing great back at home. And stick. Beautiful, one more time, that's okay. You're gonna see one side's gonna be very different than the other, that's perfectly fine. Stick. Beautiful, Natalie. Let's take a quick rest. We're going to do one more round. I'm going to jump in with you. Did you notice a difference from one leg to the next? Yes. I felt like my very last rep on my right side was yeah. the best one. Uh -huh. I felt like sometimes when I'm turning, yeah. I was turning too much or not yep. turning enough. Yeah. So just my center of mass, my yeah. balance was off a little bit. Yep. I uh, love that. So I love that. just took a little bit of practice, but cool. hopefully this round will be even better. Let's go left leg, and I'll go left leg with you. Still wait for me, okay, guys? Ready? Hands Are we up. turning? Uh, we'll turn to the left side first. Still? We'll okay. go left side. Yep. Cool. cool. And stick. Ooh, nice, nice. Four more times. Here we go. Stick. Beautiful. Here we go. Three more. Stick. Ooh, there, nice. Right. Two more times. Two more times. Stick. Nice. Here it's we always go. a good feeling when it works really well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That noise. The noise is the best teacher. And stick. What we mean by noise, guys, is if you can hear our foot hitting the ground, that good contact noise, that means that that's an efficient contact. If you're feeling it in your knee right now, you're maybe going a little too much forward onto your toes. So remember, midfoot to heel when you mm -hmm. land, okay? Next side. Ooh, and stick. Ooh. Beautiful, beautiful. Stick. Nice, here we go, three more. Stick. Perfect. Two more. Stick. Nice. One more time, guys. Here we go. And stick. <laughs> Beautiful, guys. Awesome work. Again, guys, 
the landings, the decelerations, the stopping, right? Those things might not, you guys might not think that they are as important as they really are. When we start talking about injury prevention, we start talking about being able to stop on a dime. It's these mm -hmm. basic foundation drills that give us the ability to do that when we're moving in full speed. So never neglect these parents and kids, okay? Now, let's get into the workout of the day, guys. We got four different movements. We got them for a certain amount of reps here today. We're gonna try to move through these four movements as quick as we can. Now, my rookies out there, rookie level, okay? If you can complete four rounds in 12 minutes today, that's awesome. If you can complete five rounds, you're at the all-star level. And if you can complete six rounds or more, you are at the MVP level. Yep, and we applaud you for that, okay? <laughs> so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go onto the ground. We're gonna start the 12-minute timer, and we're gonna start working with you guys together. What we have here first, I'm gonna have Natalie demo before I turn on the timer, is we have a push-up, and then opposite arm, opposite leg, lift off the ground. You only need to lift for like one second. Nat, can you show them what they could do? If this is too challenging, go onto your knees, do the push-up from your knees, and then just lift the opposite hand and opposite hip off the ground. Perfect, Nat, take a second. Now that we know that's our first movement, we got five reps on each side. Right after that, we'll go right into the second movement. Sound good, everybody? We got the timer, and it's set. Three, two, one, and here we go. Push-up. There you go, just for a second. Make sure our core is staying tight so that our shoulders and our hips are staying in a straight line here. Here we go, almost there. Five on each side. You guys keep on going if you haven't finished. If you finish, what we have next is we're gonna stand up tall, alternating split stance jumps. So it's like a lunge position and then Natalie is gonna switch her feet in the air. We have five times on each side, everybody. Five times on each side. Total of 10 reps here. Here we go, guys. Five and five. Awesome work. Now, now the next thing we have on the ground in a side plank, okay? I got my hips up. Nat is gonna go ahead and go from her knees. Now, regardless of which one you do, we have up, back, that's one, up, back, that's two, up, back, that's three. Keep going. What I don't want to do, though, is as we're here and moving our leg, I don't want my chest to move. So my chest and my hips stay in place. This is just distraction. I got 10 times on one side, and then I'll go to my side plank on my next leg and do the same thing. Every time I go up and back, that's one. Two, I got 10 reps here. I'm driving off my bottom foot. I'm pushing off my elbow. I'm not letting my chest move. Got to stay extra tight there. Then, next movement, the last movement, alternating V-ups. So Nat's going to start with her legs locked out, arms locked out, her hand and opposite foot come and meet in the middle. Five reps on each side. If that's challenging, then you got your bicycles, elbow to opposite knee. Regardless of which one you guys are doing, we got five times on each side, everybody. Once you finish up these five on each side, then we go right back to where Natalie's going, into our push-ups with our opposite hand and opposite foot coming off the ground. We are about three minutes down, I'm sorry, two minutes down. Let's keep it moving, guys. Here we go, come on. I just wanna say on these that it's also okay if you can't lift opposite hand and foot, you could work for just lifting maybe one foot or just lifting one hand. So again, you can always modify and work in that challenging range for you today and then just try to push yourself a little bit. Try to get a little bit better there. There's nothing wrong with trying it and then moving down, maybe trying knees on the ground and then moving up. You can always modify. Yep, here we go guys. After the push-ups, then we got our alternating split stance squats. We got five on each side here. Sorry, I said squats are jumps. Once I get done there, then I go right back to the ground. Again, side plank, 10 reps here. Every time I go up and back, that's one. Up, back, that's two. Up, back, that's three. And we keep moving here. Again, I can do anything here with this leg. I can keep it locked out. 
I just don't want my chest and my torso to move. So I got to keep this extra still. Once I get 10 reps on one side, then I go 10 reps on the next side. Remember guys, keep on moving. It's all about keeping stability and strength through the side of your body that's on the ground. So if you're not pushing as hard as you can with your foot or your elbow, we're not doing it the best we can, okay? And we might as well try to be the best player and get into the best shape that we can. Here we go, guys. Almost there, guys. Keep breathing. I might even add some arm movement to make it even harder. Remember, all these things moving are just trying to move your torso and move your spine. But we don't want that. We want our core to work so that those things don't have to move when we decide to move our arm or our leg. Great job, Nat. Right after that, we had our V-ups. And then after our V-ups, we go right back to those push-ups. Good job, you guys. Keep working, keep breathing. Try to keep track of your rounds. Let's see if we can get that rookie all-star MVP today. Week four, hopefully you're feeling good, feeling strong, feeling conditioned. Remember guys, everything is five reps on each side, except our side planks. We have 10 on each side there, okay? Everything is five reps on each side. Here we go. So I'm trying to press my hand and my opposite foot into the ground as hard as I can when I'm doing this. On those jumping lunges, you guys have split stance jumps. Just like we talked about in the single leg landing, we want to make sure that we're not coming onto the toes here, that we keep the heel flat. All right, so load up that backside and not put too much stress and mm. pressure on the knees. 100%. Nice job. Some work now everybody great job back at home we're almost done we got about about five minutes to go about five more minutes again four rounds if you can complete complete four rounds that's my rookie level five that's my all-star and six that's my MVP level y'all are working I got ten here one up back that's one up and back that's one work here this morning. Good work this afternoon. Whenever you're getting this work in, guys, awesome job. Remember, what's going to help you perform physically? What's going to help you continue to perform at a high level physically is your mental. So really be, try to become aware that if fatigue starts to creep in, do not let your mindset prevent you from working, okay? Do not let your mindset stop you from getting these reps in, from getting better here every day. Nothing wrong with taking a break and taking a rest, but make sure that you are pushing yourself and getting into an area of uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Here we go. And we know you guys have been killing it. You guys have been doing awesome. We've been seeing you guys, you know, working out wherever you have the space. We see you guys just following along with us. And that inspires us to push ourselves even more. So keep that up. We love that community, that connection, and that inspiration and motivation to keep moving, keep getting better each day. Oh, I got my push-ups. I'm going to pretend like I don't know what's coming next so I can get an extra break. Whew. Okay, here we go, guys. We're almost there, y'all. About two minutes left, guys. Coming up to that two-minute mark. Here we go.
Whew. Here we go. Great job, man, buddy. Keep it on up, y'all. Here we go. After my push up. Whew. 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 Now, if you guys don't know already, we're repping our San Antonio shirts today. Uh, we live in Austin, Texas right now. San Antonio and the Spurs are probably the closest NBA team to us. It hurts my heart a little bit, again, being a Mavs fan. Whew. I am not a fan of San Antonio, but uh, yeah. I guess this will do. Peer huh? pressure, I don't yep. know. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm being a good sport, we'll call it that. Yep. You know, Christian put on the Celtics shirt the other day, so I figured I have a pass. Here we go, guys. We got about one more minute left, y'all. Keep breathing. Keep moving. Here we go. Come on. All the way to the finish line, guys. Keep breathing. Keep moving. Whew. Yeah. Although oh, I have to say, I do have respect for the Spurs. Yes. Tons of respect. We got respect for every team. Oh, yeah. Every fan. We just like to mess around <laughs> and show extra love for our team and support them. That's it. Ooh. Here we go, guys. Almost done. Ooh, yeah. Goodness gracious. Guys, 30 seconds left. Here we go. Almost there, guys. Here we go. All the way through. All the way to the finish line. Last one in. Here we go, guys. Finish out this last movement. Here we go. Get your last reps in. Come on. Tile floor is a little unforgiving. Yep, tile floor is no joke. Almost there. Five, four, three, two. One, awesome work, everybody. Trying to even it Good out. Job. Nat's got to even out. She's got to make sure she gets both reps on both sides here. Awesome work, everybody. If you're okay. working still, keep breathing, keep moving. If not, great job today. Awesome work, Now, Awesome job back at home, everybody. Again, this is the beginning of the last week of month one. So hopefully by now, some of these movements that might seem a little new to you in the beginning are starting to feel more comfortable. We're always challenging our core. We're always challenging the small subtlety things that are gonna help you stay healthy for years and years to come. Along with that, now, now is gonna take you through the decompression before we finish off the day. Thank you, Christian. Excellent job today, y'all. Again, towel off, grab a sip of water, try to slow down your breath. You guys know by now that this decompression is meant to be slow. It's meant to help us focus on our breath bringing that heart rate down, right? And just clearing our mind. So let's start with our feet under our hips. We're gonna start with a standing spinal roll. So what I want you to do is lift your chin all the way up to the sky. Reach through your fingertips. Take an inhale. And on the exhale, tuck your chin to your chest. Roll your shoulders forward. Just allow your fingers to make their way towards the ground. Keep a soft bend in your knees as you push your booty up towards the sky. So lifting from your hamstrings and your glutes. At the bottom here, you can grab opposite elbows. Let's just get a nice, easy, gentle sway, right to left. Take two more breaths, again, nice and slow. And then come back to the center when you're ready. We're gonna keep our head tucked, so our chin tucked to our chest as we push our knees forward over our toes, and then we push our hips forward. We roll it around up. Getting that nice inhale at the top. Excellent job, you guys. Now, we're gonna take our elbow overhead here, bringing our hands just to our mid-back. Try to keep your eyes up so neck stays long. Let's take three inhales, three exhales. Pull that hand a little bit further down, elbow high. Awesome, shake that off. Other side, again, see if you can get these fingers to scratch your back right here, mid-back, in between those shoulder blades. Three inhales, three exhales.
awesome job. And then last but not least, let's go wide stance. Feet outside shoulder width. Let's get two big hip circles in each direction. So we're bending our knees. We're pushing our hips out and around. Really trying to reach our hips as far as we can in each direction. We'll go one more in this direction. Keep breathing. Take a little pause. And then let's switch it up again. We've got this wide stance. So we're hitting some different angles here. Maybe feeling a stretch on the inside of this leg. We're just feeling it in the hips, hamstrings. Beautiful job. Let's shake all that off. Give yourself a little round of applause. You guys did awesome today. Now, we want to leave you with, of course, our journal prompt for the day. So today is all about a growth mindset. I want you to think about what it means to have a growth mindset and then why is that important. So again, reflect on this. If you have a journal, write it down. Maybe just jot it down in your phone or talk to a friend or a family member about that. Again, what is growth mindset and why is it important? Hope to see you guys tomorrow. Keep up the good work. We'll see you then.